Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and so far we've talked about reconciliation, baptism, the Eucharist, and confirmation. Now the sacrament of matrimony, also known as marriage. Specifically, once you're married, is it possible to get out of the marriage? I'll give you the short version first. So long as the marriage was a real, valid, sacramental marriage, and so long as both you and your spouse are still alive, the answer is no. However, there are many distinctions that need to be made on this score. For example, the church does allow for something called separation, if there's a serious reason why the two people need to be kept apart from one another. An abusive husband would be the most common reason for this, but there are others. However, separation doesn't change the fact that the couple is still married. They're just not living together anymore. Because of this, any attempt to marry someone else after separating would be adultery. There's also a process called an annulment, in which people want to be released from their marriage, and they think the marriage wasn't valid to begin with. When that happens, they can approach a priest, and he can have their case studied to see if there's evidence that their marriage was invalid. If it was invalid due to one of the impediments that I talked about in episode 157, then the church declares the marriage annulled, which means that it never really happened in the first place. However, this is not a divorce because the marriage isn't broken. There's just no marriage there to break. There's also something called the Pauline privilege, though it only applies under very specific circumstances. Namely, two non-Christians have been married by non-Catholic, non-sacramental means. This is what's known as a natural marriage. However, one of them converts to Catholicism and is baptized. As a result, the unbeliever refuses to stay with them. Now, in that case, the church has judged that the non-sacramental marriage isn't binding on the believer, and they don't need to be considered married after that. This functions the same as an annulment, though the real reason why the marriage can be annulled is that it wasn't a sacrament to begin with. Nothing can annul an authentic sacrament. But what about divorce? What does divorce do? Well, the truth is that divorce is just an invention of human laws and legal systems, and because of that it has absolutely no effect at all upon a divinely established sacrament of marriage. Divorce doesn't break a real marriage, it just pretends to. Now, what follows from this is that legal recognition of divorce really does nothing to change the marital status of Catholics, but rather, it deceives people about their own marital status, as well as diminishing public respect for marriage as a sacrament and a commitment. As such, these kinds of laws raise havoc with the lives and rights of the children caught in the middle of the legal divorces, who often find themselves uprooted because of this. It also leads, in very bad cases, to a loss of the very idea of home and family, which in turn leads to wickedness, bad moral development, and sin. That's the long and short of how and when a marriage can be annulled. If you're going to be worthily married, you also need to be in a state of grace and complying with church law, but that doesn't affect whether the sacrament is valid or not. Next time, how do priests become priests? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.